what's going on everybody cool 200 here and today we have the 2001 through 2002 nascar diecast review as you can see the only 2001s are in the uh pepsi and mountain dew can i just completely forgot about them and uh well here they are i said this was all going to be 2002 well well now we have 2001 so let's go ahead and just get right into this um i do have another car that's off screen uh, we are also reviewing this one, but I didn't have any room for it, so really quick I do want to get the thumbnail, because this is going to be the thumbnail. Not sure how well that's going to work out. Cool. Thumbnail set. Here we go. Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, we're just going to start with the 2001s, so we'll remove these. Oh my lord. These have rubber tires. As you can see, most of these are 36 cars, so I guess you could call this the 10 Schrader review. So, first we're going to start with the Mountain Dew can. Yes, I do realize you can't see it. Okay. Just let me get this set up really quickly. so I can review this luscious Mountain Dew can, even though it's still not working. Here it is, the Mountain Dew can. You can see clear as day. You got pretty much the old style Mountain Dew. You got the Dew Crew by Action Dodge. Uh, 164 skill stock car action. Limited edition adult collectibles on the bottom. You can see it says Casey Atwood, number 19, Dodge Mountain Dew, 2001, Dodge Intrepid, RT, one of 16,000, sorry, 128, and the DIN code, very nice. So, how we open this, and this is the same for the Jeff Gordon, but it doesn't have this. It says, pull here to open, and voila. So... Uh, there is the beautiful can, and here is the die cast. Now, you might be wondering, how do you get this out? Very simple. Get your nail under there, and you pry the bottom off. Seeing how that starts to come off. And there you go. This is just a metal thing. And then you just pop that plastic out right there. And she comes out. Just like so. So, with that out of the way, Here is said diecast. So Casey Atwood, such a controversial name in NASCAR, I believe. Um, I believe he was quote unquote called a NASCAR bust. And uh, here's one of his cars anyways. The Mountain Dew Dodge. Very nice. I wish Lionel did cans like these. These are these are actually pretty cool. Um, I do have vending machines, too, of Case Kane and Jeff Gordon. And I think I have a few more Dale Juniors coming and both cans and vending machines. So you'll see those later on, probably when I'm done with all of these other cars. But anyways, here it is. You can see got this nice Mountain Dew design here. Got some uh, light green on there. Got some some sort of red stripe um, from the hood and it's going also across the hood and on the deck lid got Dodge Mountain Dew very nice on the back uh, you have the wonderful rookie stripes and it says Mountain Dew Dodge your 
friendly. They're friendly Dodge dealers. Couldn't read it. Sorry, it's so small. And on this side, it's the same. So yeah, there you go. Dodge Intrepid. So I believe after the Dodge Intrepid, they moved to the Dodge Charger. And then Dodge just left NASCAR because no one took the car. So, yeah, there you go. Casey Atwood. Very, very nice. Very nice. The Case Kane one, I think, is a bit better, though. But still, very nice car. With metal chassis, rubber wheels. Can't stress that enough. But the next car we're going to look at is Jeff Gordon's Pepsi can. I'm actually just going to review it on hand here. That's the old Pepsi logo, 24, Pepsi racing, action, all the licensing and stuff. You got action, 164 scale stock car, limited edition, Pepsi. Uh, unfortunately, that fell off. Um, this one is actually a bit more dirty and a bit more old, um, but it is a 2001. Go ahead. Uh, that was actually kind of easy. Very surprised. Yep. Fortunately, came off quite nice. As you can see, just it's very easy. Very very easy. Come on. There we go. And here is Jeff Gordon's delicious Pepsi car. And uh, as you can see, the wheels on this side are a bit dusty. Um, the guy that I bought this from, I guess, had it sitting around um, for a long time. And it collected tons of dust. In fact, the whole thing was almost ghost white when I got it. Not even joking. It was ridiculous. But after I kept you know, messing with it and stuff, it obviously dusted itself, but, uh, you can still see there is some dust right there still, so, not all of it went away, but that was pretty much spread throughout the whole car, but anyways, here it is, you got, uh, delicious, delicious Pepsi, so I believe from, I mean, that, never mind, so anyways, you have Pepsi DuPont on the, uh, the hood here with a nice little glow around the Pepsi. Very nice. You have DuPont and Pepsi here. Really do like this old Pepsi logo. It's kind of kind of cool. You got uh, DuPont back here. DuPont, the machines of science. So just really kind of a boring design though. Nothing really cool about it. Nothing to really go over either. Um, it's just kind of a plain Jeff Gordon Pepsi car, if you will, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, just say it's, it's all right. I mean, really nothing special about it. Just look how dirty those wheels are, though. It's probably the only interesting thing about this car besides it being a Jeff Gordon. Should have wiped those out because they're actually supposed to be black, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and move on to the next car. Which I'm going to make it be. And yeah, let's just do Kevin Harvick. And his number 29 Good Wrench car. This is the second, I believe, Good Wrench, real Good Wrench car that I have. Um, so this will be I have a Dale Sr., a fake Dale Sr. 2018, um, you guys saw. And now this. So very nice. So, of course, on this side, you have number 29, tons of contingencies, good wrench service, Sonic. Interesting, um, they went with a gray design because they can't, you know, do anything with Dale Earnhardt Sr. stuff. 
and you got the black here and then back here you have goodwrench.com with the black back GM perf performance parts sorry for the glare and back here they're so loose like look at that same side by the way but look at that weird and then good wrench serves on the top or the the, the hood so another nice design here um still kind of plain but i get you know they can't really you know they can't make it black you know like they did with dale Hart senior so they had to make it silver which is cool so yeah, there you go, Kevin Harvick's Good Ranch service car. Very, very nice. Um, well, I mean, it's still kind of boring, but not too boring. Um, I don't really like Kevin Harvick, but uh, I think it's an alright paint scheme. He's definitely gotten some better ones um, as the years go on. So, yeah, there you go. There's Kevin Harvick's Good Ranch car. And now we're going to move on to a ton of 36 cars. In fact, the rest of the video will be on 36 cars. <sighs> Fun. First, we're going to start with Ken Schrader's number 36 combos car. Now, this is probably my least favorite of the ones I am reviewing, uh, simply because it's just, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't know why. But here it is. Combos. M&M's. Love me some M&M's. So here you got combos. This is a very cheap car, by the way. Very, just very cheap. It feels like you just smash it almost. This is made by Racing Champions, so yeah. You can see it's got some damage on the spoiler up there. But anyways, it's got just the plain blue. And then you got a bunch of combos, kind of like the M&M's um, here on the front. In fact, very similar to the M&M's I will show you later. Uh, back here you got just tons of combos, uh, the combos wording there. Got Snickers there. There is the other side, the exact same. So, very nice little M&M's logo there. This is a Pontiac Grand Prix. Very nice. Um, but uh, yeah, that's Really all I got to say about this car. Um, I do like it. I, I mean, it, I don't hate it. Like, I'm saying, you know, oh, this is the one I least like or whatever. But it's actually still a very nice looking car. Um, it just doesn't meet the standards of the other ones. In fact, the other, the real Ken Schrader on the M's car isn't even that good. Um, but yeah, this is his combos car. And that was his combo's car. Now we will review the M&M's car that I just mentioned. There it is. This is his, I think, primary scheme. But I've got a few other m and schemes. So, yeah. Here it is. Um, what I was talking about with the combo's car is just look how kind of similar they look. Three combos here, three M&M's there. Ton of combos up here, ton of combos up there. Just very similar uh, kind of layout, um, but the rest of the car is very different. So, yeah, kind of neat. You got the red M&M there, uh, the old M&M's logo, that's pretty cool. And you got pedigree, Snickers, um, rubber tires, metal body. Got M&M's back here with the yellow guy peeking out. Over here you got the green girl. Very, very nice. You got that 36. Yes, the hood does open. Not very well. It doesn't like to stay open very well, but doesn't matter because there's not much really to see under there, but it's still nice to have it. Yes, I promise there is an engine under there. The hood doesn't want to stay fully closed either, but whatever. So, this is probably the, one of my least favorite schemes from him as well. Um, just kind of plain. Even Kyle Busch's car looks a little nicer than this, I guess. But, his other paint schemes are absolutely delicious, so let's get into them. And the first one we're going to get into 
is probably the patriotic paint scheme or the 4th of July paint scheme. This is a very nice looking car. And yes, I do have two of these. So this is Ken Schrader's number 36 M&M's 4th of July 2002 Grand Prix. Very nice. And um, I have two of these cars. This is actually the worst version. Um, here is, if I can get it out, the better version. This is what the packaging looks like from it. Blue guy paint. Oh, dang it. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Jeez. Here is the other one. You can see the differences here. In the blue and the red. This one is a bit darker. It has red interior. This is more like a plastic kind of feel. And this one is more of a metal type of feel. But there is one huge, well, and I guess the noses are a bit different. This one's black and this one's gray. But there's a huge difference in these. It's a chassis remover. That's what I'm calling it. The chassis and the body split. And we are going to review this one and do away with this one. Because this one is correct. So, back to what I was saying. Here is the 36 car for Ken Schrader. Very nice. Well, I'll review the body and then I'll review the chassis. So, here you have the red guy with the American flag very American-ish. You have M&M's, pedigree, tons and tons of contingencies. Cannot get over the fact they so, they had so many contingencies. Love the fireworks. Just a really nice paint scheme back here. Um, you have the yellow guy kind of scared with the firework going over the M&M. Got Snickers. Tons more fireworks here with the blue guy acting like he's a soldier. That's pretty cool because we were the blue coats. So that's pretty cool. Um, Yes, a little bit of history knowledge here. You got some red and blue um, fireworks going off with M&M and Pedigree on the hood. And of course, the hood does open. Um, I guess we really don't need it to open, but it does. Let's go ahead and remove it just to show you. There is an M&M under there. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and remove that and look closely at the chassis if I can get it to focus now, I will admit this one is my first chassis um, body separated separation car I should have a few more of these coming in um, I have a Jeff Gordon one I believe and uh, maybe a few others I don't really remember at this point but you have like the radiator the engine and stuff the rubber tires this is actually that is metal, okay. I was like, is this plastic? But no. You have the, the fuel cell and stuff. All the interior, just look at all this detail. You actually have um, texture to the window net. Uh, you can see you got the dash and got the seats and stuff. Very, very cool. Wish Lionel did something like this. I like that they actually took time and colored these bars right here. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, very nice. This isn't the only one I have. I do have another one. I will show you. I won't take the chassis off, but because, I mean, they look exactly the same. Because, yeah. But, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. And here's just the body. No, nothing special about it. Just the body. So, yeah, pretty cool. Line out. Um, step up your game. This is uh, This is something you guys need to be doing. Like if you agree. But uh, yeah, there's the car. Rolls and everything. So, now we're going to go ahead and move on. And since Halloween is coming up, I think it'd be very appropriate if we reviewed Ken Schrader's number 36 Halloween car with removable body. And this is... Ken Schrader's number 36 M&M slash Halloween 2002 Grand Prix 
one of 8,640. And then the DIN code, or the PN code, whatever. So let's go ahead and open this up. I love this packaging, by the way. It's secure, but it's also very easy to open. I love that. And just so you guys think, don't think I'm lying, removable body. But I'm not going to just keep doing that because you guys already saw what the chassis looks like. So yeah. Anyways, here it is, guys. Just for you Halloween fans, we have a Halloween diecast because, well, Halloween wouldn't be the same without a Halloween diecast. <laughs> so here it is. Over here you have a nice font of 36 with like, I guess, orange blood dripping down. You got the red guy dressed as a vampire, M&M's, the pedigree, pretty much everything you can find on the Kent Schrader car. Um, back here you have uh, the yellow dude um, dressing up as a mummy next to the M&M logo along with the Snickers and the orange guy dressed as a pumpkin which is quite suitable with M&M's. Uh, so yeah, I love the uh, orange and black M&M's on it. I think that's pretty cool. And under here, I'm wondering if they changed the characters under the hood. And they did not. Unfortunately, they did not. So, yes. Very unfortunate, but pretty much the, it's the, uh, really just the same car here, um, just kind of printed off differently. Because you have the three M&Ms, you know, you, you got the basic layout. They did change the M&Ms just a little bit. You can kind of see they uh, piled them up a bit different, but you get the basis here. This car's so much bigger. Just look at this. Okay, they're nose to nose, and well, they were. Okay, this is nose to nose, and the black one is just a bit longer. Than the yellow one which is weird because they should they're from the same year so they should be the same right but nope so yeah whatever i do like these removable chassis though i think that is pretty cool and uh, let's move on and we have the final two cars we will start with my favorite well i guess my second favorite my favorite is actually the next one the number 36 vote excuse me Vote M&M's car. Now, I have this not only in 164, but I got it in 124. Because, of course, I did. Because I like this so much. I actually like this better than his primary scheme. I think he should have ran this more. But whatever. So here you have the green side um, close up here with the red dude. He's actually climbing a rope. I really thought that this was damaged when I first got it, but I noticed that it is a rope that he's climbing, so that's kind of cool. And uh, got uh, M&M's here, pedigree, literally everything you find on a Ken Schrader car that's normal. Here on the back you have the yellow guy saying vote, uh, M&M's vote that is. Uh, on the deck lady you have Snickers like usual. A little bit of damage on the window, but what can you expect from a used car? Um, I bought most of these ones that own that box is pretty used, so um, it's nice to see them actually have uh, pretty good quality. I am supposed to be getting another vote car. I did actually find one. I just have not been able to get it yet, which is weird. Uh, here you go with the pink uh, design with the uh, blue dude obviously painting the side pretty nice that it's not the same side. I wish they would do this more often. I wish a new color would come in for M&M's. I actually wish there was a pink color for M&M's. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, look at all these M&M's that they threw on the hood. I absolutely love that. This is why I love the paint scheme. It's just so different. There's so many M&M's. So much stuff going on here. It's just, it's a really cool uh, design. Really do like it. Fortunately, the underneath, I cannot say too much about just look at this is why I really want a new one that is that is just really bad um, but I guess it is the underneath of the car it is underneath the car so it's not ridiculous or anything but yeah oh and there's pedigree logo forgot to point that out 
So, Eminem's Vote. Very nice car. Now for my favorite one. Because that one wasn't cool enough. Here we have a, I think, very rare number 36 car that maybe many of you have not seen. This is the Eminem's, I'm going to call it, green car. Very nice paint scheme. I absolutely love this color. In fact, I think this is the Eminem's mint uh, green color. Uh, I believe this is probably just Eminem's mint. Um, obviously, they didn't go with a full-on mint uh, Eminem design here. You do have the mint Eminem's on a lot of the hood, but it's mostly um, the colors as well. But on the rest of this car, there's not even a character sitting here. It is just green M&Ms all the way across. I bet you this is like maybe for Christmas. Not really sure. Over here you have the um, yellow guy sitting in the M&Ms with M&Ms. You got Snickers. Over here again, no character. Literally the same side as the other. If you guys know what this car, um, where this car ran, or what the purpose of this car was, please leave it down in the comments below. Would absolutely love to find out. Um, but yeah, this is a just just a beautiful car. Compare this with this one. These two should have been his primary scheme. Just absolutely love both of these. Um, but yeah, whatever. And Trader doesn't even drive anymore, so whatever. But yeah, very cool. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did actually enjoy. Um, I always have a blast making these videos simply because they are fun. You can guess where these two are going. Thumbnail. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Um, I'm pretty tired, honestly. As you guys can hear, my parents are still up, which is ridiculous, or at least my mom is. My dad went to bed a long time ago. Um, but, yeah, guys, this is going to be it for now. I hope you all enjoyed. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, please um, just support this channel a little bit. Give me some good feedback. Um keep saying um a lot but um <laughs> i'm actually gonna replace that car because they're the like exact same there we go but uh yeah guys that's it please like this video leave a comment subscribe for more follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and i will see you guys in the next video peace those cars